history lesson. And now we go to our studio historian, Andy Cronti. Take it away, Andy. In 1525, the Spanish explorers and their troops landed on the northern shore of the Caribbean Sea and began their conquest of what is today Colombia. The Spaniards brought unfamiliar diseases such as smallpox to the native groups that, called the Troyanas and the Muiscas, which killed most of the population. They named the new land Colombia and its capital Bogota, which is the capital to this day. Colombia was under Spanish rule from 1525 to 1811. Antonio Nerno led a rebellion against the city of Cartagena, but it was soon extinguished by the Spanish armies. But this rebellion was successful and inflamed the hearts of the Colombian people to take arms and win independence from Spain. Led by Simón Bolívar, the land of Colombia won its independence in 1819. In 1849, Colombia became the, became the first country to establish a constitutional government in America, in South America. But it but Conflicts ensued between the two political parties, the Liberal Party and the Conservative Party. From 1849 to 1970, violence and turmoil erupted. The government was in chaos and the citizens of Colombia were constantly in danger. Violence ensued with the rise of drug cartels. The corrupt, they corrupted the government and caused violence such as Pablo Escobar who made a fortune from cocaine trafficking. The United States has helped Colombia to keep violence and corruption at bay with military support. Colombia ratified a new constitution in 1991 to reform the security and stop drug cartels. And now we go to Trey, our studio weather specialist. Take it away, Trey. Like many South American countries, Colombia has a tropical climate because it's located so closely to the equator. Colombia has a flat coastal plains as well as the Llanos, an area of fertile grasslands on the east. In addition to these low areas, the Central Highlands and the Andes are also located in Colombia. These higher regions contain much cooler climates. Colombia also contains part of the Amazon rainforest. Sadly, many of the trees have been cut down for timber, but more on that later. Back to you, Johnny. Okay. And now we go to Daryl, our culture specialist. Action. The diverse population of Colombia has created a rich culture and music and art and literature. Their, their joyfulness and uplifting culture is expressed in their fairs, carnivals, and festivals, such as the Manizales Fair in January. There are bullfights, car shows, parades, orchestra concerts, and the international coffee pavement. Every year on January 26th, Epiphany is celebrated in Colombia, and which is a national holiday, and it marks the end of the holiday season. No school is given, and it is a big thing in Mexico, Spain, and other Spanish-speaking countries. The most typical meal is a, is a Colombi in Colombia is the bandeja paisa. It includes red beans, rice, ground beef, chorizo with lime, plantain, arepa, avocado, fried eggs on top of a big slice of chicharron. There, this is a very. There are many versions of this Colombian dish. Back to you, Johnny. And now we turn to Bob, our data analyst. Crunch those numbers, Bob. Now, I'm supposed to read these facts out. All right. The population of uh, Colombia, as of July 2017, is uh, 46,698,524. Interesting, interesting. The infant, the infant, excuse me, mortality rate is 13.6 deaths out of every 1,000 live births. The literacy rate in Colombia is 94.2%. Life expectancy is 75 years. Uh, economics of Colombia, let's, let's, let's see what it says. Uh, per capita GDP, $14,500. The labor force is about uh, 25 million, again as of 2017. Now these, these facts are 2016. Uh, agriculture makes up 17% of the, uh, the business. Industry, 21%. And uh, services is 62%. Now, its natural resources of Colombia are uh, coal and petroleum, timber, bananas, who likes bananas, uh, cocoa, and coffee. Its exports are again uh, petroleum and coal, emeralds, Cut, cut flowers, nickel, apparel, bananas. Now it imports, uh, Colombia imports cars, computers, paper products, organic chemicals, and pharmaceuticals. Back to you, Johnny. 
And now we go to Luke, our Urza expert on iconic figures. Originally from Rio Negro, Colombia, the infamous man known as Pablo Escobar eclipses about every other kingpin in history. He started as a farm boy and built his empire from nothing. He married at 27 in 1967 and had two children. In his time, he did many vile and absurd things. He killed over 4,000 people, including about 200 judges. When in hiding, his daughter got very sick. In order to keep her warm, Escobar burned about $2 million worth of cash. Although despised by many people, he was given nicknames such as Robin Hood and El Patron due to his support of the poor. He died at age 44 by being gunned down. We don't have him in the studio tonight because he's dead, but we do have Pablo Escobar. Get it? Cut. Born in Barang... Barang... How do you pronounce it? Barraquilla. Yeah, Barracuda, Colombia. The world-famous singer Shakira has been singing and dancing her way around the world. She, started, she had started at a young age, writing her first poem at not only four, not much later writing her own songs. She had reached stardom in writing songs such as Waka Waka and Hips Don't Lie, winning numerous awards and becoming world-renowned. Shakira had also founded the Pies del Carlos Foundation and had, was named Goodwill Ambassador by UNICEF. Back to you, Johnny. And now we go deep into the jungles of Colombia with Dr. Schmidt, who will tell you all about the cool things found in Colombia. The rainforest of South America houses many species of plants and animals, one being the three-striped night monkey. Scientifically named Aotus trivigarius, it is the not only nocturnal primate of South America, and having in, inhabiting dense tropical forests and higher altitudes. They are nocturnal, uh, nocturnal animals, which means they only come out at night, but sometimes they come out in the daytime. Let's go try and find one. Oh my gosh, there it is. The three-striped night monkey is so beautiful. In Colombia, there are many beautiful displays of man-made natural scenery. My personal favorite is the Caño Cristales, otherwise known as the river that ran away from paradise. Located in a remote area outside of La Macarena, the Caño Cristales is like any old boring river for most of the year. But around September and November, when the water levels are just right, the river blossoms into an explosion of different colors. The river does this due to special plants that line the riverbed known as the Macarena Clavigera, changing colors, giving it most, its mostly red apparel. Okay. What's up, World Geo class? It's Johnny and Trey here, and we're going to go to Johnny with environmental issues. Take it away, Johnny. There are many environmental issues that Colombia faces. However, there is one problem we are going to be discussing today. That is the, the deforestation of the Amazon. Deforestation rates have jumped in the past couple of years after more illegal ranching and logging occurred. Not only does deforestation cause problems, like soil erosion in the area, but trees in the Amazon affect the world by taking in CO2 and releasing the very air we breathe. Back to you, Johnny. This just in from our ground team in Colombia. Police in four, in four countries have smashed an international drug trafficking ring in which cocaine was smuggled aboard commercial jet flights. Colombian police say 30 people have been arrested, including the suspect and ring leader Juan Merlo of Spain. Here he is being put into a special police vehicle. South American countries because it's so lo it's so closely to the why well, can't English <laughs> all right let's just use the other one <laughs> coastal plains as well as the Llanos an area of fertile grasslands on the east in addition to these low areas the central highlands dominate crap <laughs> born in Barak Barak line Barraquilla yeah Barack Obama <laughs> 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 the forest of South America house many species of plants and animals, one being a three-striped night monkey. Scientifically named 
I can't say it. <laughs> you don't have to say it. Forests of South America house many species of plants and animals, one being the street type. <laughs> street type night monkey. The rainforest of South America house many species of plants and animals, one being the three striped night monkey. Scientifically named Otis Trivigarius is the no <laughs> I completely forgot I had to. <laughs> Shaggy did that. There you go. The rainforest of South America house many species of plants and animals, one being the street type. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Welcome back to, Envir to Environmental Issues. Today, we are going to be discussing environmental issues in Canada and Colombia. <laughs> the Spaniards and the Muiscas, which... Oh my gosh, why did I skip a line? Johnny, pause it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Guys, come on. Oh, that's poor. Okay.